Hey guys, so I'm here to make another video about, now not a review, but kind of a review, but it has to do more on like my interests and stuff that I want to share with you guys because we might be sharing the same interests. And um, one of them, the one that I'm going to talk about tonight will be the books that I like to read. Actually, I'm not a bookworm. I wouldn't say I'm a bookworm. I don't like read all, like every genre. I only read one specific genre. And that is, I'm a romance junkie, so I read romance novels. And I don't just read like romance novels, like teenage romance novels. I'm 16, I'll be 17 um, in June. And I actually like to read like kind of adult, more like not teenage you know, ram romance books, because I, I think they're rather, like, I have nothing against teenage books, it's, it really just depends on what you prefer, and I actually really prefer to read, like, romance novels and stuff, and, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but it's kind of frowned upon, especially when you're a teenager, when you, like, go to, like, romance section of Barnes and & Noble, and they're, like, a bunch of, like, covers with, topless guys and stuff and I found myself in an awkward situation where I'd go in that direction and that part of the bookstore and there would be like a woman in her 60s or maybe late 50s late 40s in that section and it's just it's just so awkward and sometimes I'd like really get some books that are like kind of self-explanatory like if you look at the if you look at the cover you'd be like you're, you're gonna be frowned upon basically and I what I usually do is that I try to make it a little bit not awkward by saying do you guys have a gift wrapper because this book is for my mom and which is so not true because I'm the one who reads it I just don't want to be like you know I don't want to like the cashier th like the cash register thing I'm weird and stuff so I just try to be like oh it's for my mom and I really need I wonder if you guys do like free great guest routing and stuff so yeah that's it that's like the really awkward moment but anyways I'm here to also like make a review about the books that I've read like romance books that I've read and I have a feel like I don't read all like romance like I don't I actually just prefer a few authors well I have like preferences of my own my favorite authors my favorite romance novel novelists and one of them is Rachel Gibson and one of my favorite books of Rachel Gibson is this book called Any Man of Mine um I actually really liked it I loved it honestly because it's like this is probably the first this is the first yeah this is the first Rachel Gibson novel that I've read this and um it's actually pretty good it's a second chance romance and it's about a lady who had a one night stand with this hockey player and they ended up being married for like two weeks and stuff because she and then she ended up being pregnant and then they got divorced and then they got reunited when they got reunited again I, I know that summer just sucked but that's pretty much like I don't really want to spoil it. I don't really want to spoil it to you, so I'll just give you like a basic idea of what it's about. Just like a second chance romance when they're gonna get back together. Usually, romance novels like this, they usually like have happy endings, unless you like read books from like, let's say, Nicholas Sparks, then that could be like not, that can be the same thing. Because I've read, I was really pissed actually when I read one of his novels, I think it was, um, message in a bottle when the guy ended up dying and you know I was like that sucked because if you're actually going to kill the main character it's like I know um romance novels are pretty predictable because you know they always gonna, they're always going to end up together like contemporary romance and stuff but at the same time you just kind of want to have that idea that oh they're going to end up together you don't want to be like oh I just wasted my time reading this book and the end he's going to die it's like, I don't like that. So anyways, I also, my other favorite author is Erin McCarthy. She, she's great. She's also great. 
the first book that I read from her, I don't think I still have it, was one of those vampire paranormal romance. I think it's called Bit, Bit the Jackpot. It's with the Seamus or something. But anyways, so I really like this book too. Oh, I like the one, the, the first Aaron McCarthy book that I've read. But this one's probably one of my favorites. Maybe my number one favorite because it's so cute. It's about, it's not a second chance romance. It's about a small town girl falling in love with this, like, not girl, small town woman because she's in, like, her mid-twenties. Falling in love with this guy from Chicago. And they're, like, they're from opposite, like, totally different worlds. And he was only there for, like, a business trip. And, you know, they started liking each other, liking each other. Well, actually, no. In the beginning of that book, they didn't like each other. At least she didn't like him. Or there was some kind of, like, tension between them. But it was, like, more like, you know, like, romance kind of sexual tension. But in the end, they ended up being together. Which is a spoiler, but oh well. Another f favorite author of mine is Carly Phillips. I actually, this one is my favorite, I'd say, and I think this is the first book I've read from, I've read from Carly Fri no, actually this is not, I think I lost the first book that I've read, but it's called The Heartbreaker, it's about this daughter, she's like in her 30s, I think, like late 30s, or early 20s, and was adopted by like the president of the, Uni the United States, and she's kind of like tired of being like the first daughter, you know? So she she had this like one night stand with this what is he like a reporter I think yeah he was a reporter um, with this reporter and they had a one night stand and you know they ended up falling in love with the, with each other I mean actually like it's funny because whenever I th whenever I read those books it's kind of like I always think that it's always worth the risk because my mom doesn't really know. Well, she knows that I like romance novels, but she doesn't. T she doesn't think they're like that explicit because some of the books that I read are kind of explicit, but they're cute. So, but I hope that I'm not like the only teenager who like reads these kind of stuff because they're awesome though. Like, especially if you're like a romance junkie and you want to take it to like a whole nother level, I think those books, these three authors, are like really good. So they are. Carly Phillips, Erin McCarthy, and Rachel Gibson. Check them out, guys. And I hope you guys like my vlog. Please, please feel free to leave your comments and stuff. I really mind. I'm just kidding. You can write whatever you want. That would be amazing. And you can give me, like, tips or, like, ideas of what to vlog about. Because I really have no idea. I just want to look. Right now, I'm really just talking about random things because I really have no idea what to vlog about. So, bye guys!